Oh yeah, AC here. I don't know why I started off every time like that, but... <laughs> What's your name? Mama Bear, what are you doing? What's your name? You're, you're a little scary over here. Okay, Sorry. so this conversation is going to be about um, depression, <sighs> the day I actually fell, um, mental abuse from strangers, people you know, people you love, family, anything else. Online. Online, which is Online like abuse is the worst. So, uh, I was 16. I really like this guy. So my mom told me straight, you either ask him out now or ask for his number or we're never coming back up here. So I asked him out. I have cojones and I do ask the guys that I like out. I don't care. It's not taboo. It's what, two, it was 2016. So who gives a fly in anything, right? <laughs> I've always been the, if I want it, I get it anyways type of girl, you know? Mm -hmm. Because if you wait for a guy, it ain't ever going to happen because guys played off like, oh, she's playing that she likes me, but she doesn't like me. So we're just going to stay friends on it for like ever. You told me half of those stories when you were a kid. You should hear this one story. She has stories for days. <laughs> I've lived a long life. I'm sorry. Remember that guy who used to send you the swag? <laughs> that was the cutest. Oh, he was. That's the cutest. Tell your story quick. He was. <laughs> we we moved from my old neighborhood that I lived in pretty much my whole life, and we moved up to a new neighborhood, and this guy I went to school with, and he kept sending me letters through the mail, and it said on the back, SWAC, and I'm like, so finally I meet him, and I'm like, what the hell is a SWAC? And he goes, you idiot, sealed, sealed with, with a kiss. kiss. That is the it's cutest. Like, That's the cutest. I though. thought he wanted to SWAC me, like SWAC. <laughs> a nice backhand SWAC. <laughs> That's what I thought. She has the cutest like, stories. What's a swag? And it's like, you do know we went to school together. And it's like, no, I don't remember that. I this. don't remember. And Which it's like, one? we went to school together. Yeah. I've heard boy stories my whole <laughs> life. So I had to grow up quick. I was ready for half the stories she told me. Okay, so anyways. Um, if you don't teach them young, then they get in trouble. And I didn't want a troubled kid. Sorry. The only trouble you got with me is like I'm the biggest like bitch of like ever. That's like the only trouble you no, have I with mean, me. No, I mean the other trouble like you know. Nah, could you imagine me having kids? <laughs> <sighs> the whole or, world would be destruction. Or <sighs> running away or nah. in the gutter. Whatever. Nah. Are you... <laughs> nah. You I, I like junk. to sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're stuck with like a sleeping what kid. What good have got to do with not sleeping? Because how do you get in trouble if you're oh, sleeping? True, true. But I get in trouble for sleeping. Okay, so let's carry on. So anyways, I went up with this guy, okay? First love, you know, first love. First love is basically grabbing a knife and stabbing yourself with it. That's what first love is. It's all cute and, you know, flowers and lovey-dovey. And then as soon as that's over, it's like chaos and destruction blowing up right in your face and you don't know it because you're so in denial because he loves me he won't hurt me so anyways i went up with this guy for 10 years okay <laughs> on and off yeah but i don't care what anybody says because if you purve his twitter and shit it says 10 years too he told the cops 10 years actually told the cops 11 years so yeah. um Lie a second lot. <laughs> second year into it we got engaged at the place that we met yeah this one told me, watch out, because engagement... As soon as you get engaged, when... If the male is controlling and pretty much a cheating hoe, you will find out once you get engaged, which you did. So, uh, we got I engaged, and um, basically my life ended. I was going to school at this time, yeah. too. This was before I quit school. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know, a fight broke out. He came to live with us for a couple months or so, yeah. and that's when all hell started breaking loose. So, while yeah. I'm at school, he was basically um, getting, like, four meals a day, playing my games, disappearing, doing who knows what. We all know what, but I'm not getting too into no. it. It's really nobody's damn business. Yeah. And um, Causing a lot of problems, trying to boss and control you, waking your father up at 3, 4 in the morning because he was arguing with you so you couldn't go to school. Talk about abusive. So not only was your father not getting enough sleep, getting proper sleep neither were none of us so he needs a lot of sleep for the road and yeah it was messed up all the way around so basically so the fight you weren't just getting abused we all got abused so basically the end of the fight yeah. was if i meet randy orton 
and get his tattoo on my body. He is going <laughs> to grab a pencil and stick him in the eye. And all of that because we met we Bret Hart. We met Bret Hart at a Walmart. And the girl's like, oh my God, when this happens, I want to be there. Because no next man. His name's going to be on my girl's body. La, 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 la. Wrestling is trash. Wrestling is fake. Wrestling, wrestling started it way Wrestling back makes then. you a slutty girl. <laughs> I'm such a slutty girl. So I'm like, mom. That's funny. Um, Wrestling started trouble back then. I just got out of school due to my school is like the biggest <laughs> trash talkers, but they do carry <laughs> weapons. So anyways, there's so many stories here. So just, just bear witness yeah. with us. So anyways, this girl was threatening. She was going to stab me and my friend. So I'm like, okay, meet us outside. Whatever. Come on, let's get this bullshit over with. It was all about a boy. Meanwhile, there was no boys ever. No yeah, boys. Nobody ever saw it. I swear anyone. to God, they were all, um, let's be honest. I don't know, demonetized, And they were kind of losing it. I think they were kind of loopy. <coughs> so anyways, I finally, after skipping school, um, skipping tests, skipping this, doing this, finally. And the school calls me. So then my mom, Mama Bear, comes to the school <laughs> and destroys the principal. Because the principal was the biggest yeah. ass. I've told the principal multiple times about this. She's like, well, what are you doing to cause all this the chaos? The principal had no this children. This is not true. I thought she was such an expert until Mama Bear went in there. And then she lost her job, and so did her little perverted boyfriend that used to... Follow go into us. the bathrooms with all you girls. I remember I got to. so bad once I had God. to walk. Okay, so there was a door, and then there was a door, and then there was the bathroom. I remember locking both doors. My girlfriends are like, yeah. um, are we going to get in trouble? I'm like, do you want this perverted male in with us? No. I used to ask my boy, can you uh, wait outside? Because we wouldn't go to the bathroom like all day because... This guy would just walk it's, in. It's either we do it in the morning, we do it at lunch, or we do it after school, which like I told my boy, I'm like, can, can you please just stand out here and if he comes you know just tell him off because every day we told this guy yeah. off like he's a pervert he's a loser he needs a life your job is trash you're doing trash at your job you know all of that shit i'm together. sorry he was supposed to be protecting all the students not following girls to them and bathroom. it wasn't just us either there was a whole pile oh, of yeah. people that complained about this shit oh, yeah. but the principal was a god and everything it was, was her over boyfriend our it was a boyfriend we swear it to god it was her boyfriend. boyfriend because as soon as i got her can he got canned, too. Same with the gym teacher. The gym teacher. <laughs> so I told yeah. the lady, because no respect for that, you know. Yeah. So I told her, just give me the paper so I can sign myself out of school because I'm done with this shit. I'm done getting threatening for bullshit. I mean, all they did was talk shit. I remember there used to be crowds around me and my friend waiting for this fight to happen. And they were always hiding in freaking stairwells. Yeah, but the crazy all thing the is, time. a year later, they actually did stab somebody in the head. Yeah, and then that girl quit school for like two months. So it actually did happen. It did happen, just, just not, not to me. To Obviously, you. they didn't really I've, have a problem. They just I pulled you out before that. Wanted to kind of push it, you know, push pull type of shit. Yeah. They wanted attention. They were thirsty for who knows what because there was no guys. And trust me, one of the guys we hung around with had a girlfriend, and the other guy was interested in anime and shit and wrestling. That's what we used to talk about all the time. Yeah. But, anyways, let's go back to the story. So, um,. I finally got my mom in. She finally signed me out. I was out Oh, of after I destroyed the principal and the little boyfriend. And I'm, I'm just sitting back like I told you, you don't want to play with Mama Bear. If you think I'm a bitch and I need respect, you're going to hate <laughs> Mama Bear because Mama Bear will rip your throat out. <laughs> Mama Bear don't like when people play with Baby Bear. When it comes to Baby Bear, people just better watch it. So anyways, news is I got the rest of my school in through... Um, Homeschool, which I don't give a f what anybody says. Homeschool is just as good as real school. Just you don't have to deal you with the trash people. And I also got cash back because I finished it early. So how you do it? Yeah. So anyways, that day, that day, I told my mom, I'm like, you gotta help me get him out. You, we're packing his shit because he was out doing who knows what. We're packing his shit. You know, you gotta tell him he's got to go. He was lying that he wasn't getting fed, his laundry wasn't done, he wasn't allowed to shower, so I made him pay me $400. Me, well, this kid was eating better than me. I'm at school learning trash that still yeah. to this day I have not used <laughs> while he's at home eating grilled cheese sandwiches playing my games. You know how pissed off I was about that shit? But then he's lying to everybody. Like, Dude, you should be able to look for a job, not there's, getting catered by my an, mom. There's an abusive person. You're getting treated like a king, and then you're barefaced lying that nobody likes you, and you're getting treated like garbage. Meanwhile, you just ate my food, drank my pop, 
Uh, yeah. No. So let's zoom it up so my mom helped me and my dad's like, yeah, yeah. this shit's done. He had to pay my mom 500 bucks back, which yeah. actually went to like food and my Xbox, my original Xbox. Yeah, because I stopped getting my allowance because due to he this was living bullshit. here for the extra food and stuff. So me quitting school slash all that, it's all been good. So anyways, let's zoom up to a couple of years later. So a couple of years later, I started getting accused of cheating 24-7. A guy walks down the street, I know him. <sighs> His friends. Okay, so I don't know what you could say on YouTube, but supposedly I was doing all of his friends. All of his <laughs> friends were my buddies, if you get what I mean. They were my yeah. buddies. You know, either any way, uh, first, second, third, home base. I was doing all of them. And I kept saying, if you're accusing her so damn much, you must be out doing it your damn self. So these Only fights a guilty person would break would out that. at my house. So people finally started the co calling the cops around here. You know, I started calling the cops. I called the cops a couple so, times on them. you know, we broke up for a couple months, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, but baby, but baby, but baby. So, lies, you know, lies, first lies. love, you always yeah. take them back type of shit. Mm -hmm. So let's zoom down to a couple of years later. So, uh, yeah. one time during sleepover, his phone kept going off, going off, going off. And I was like, what the hell is this? Like a Mario game? Like so many different sounds. All the different noises. So yeah. I made my Instagram because everybody's like, oh, Facebook is exactly like Instagram, which the only account that I had was Twitter because I don't, I didn't trust online. I still don't trust online, but I mean, I'm more trustworthy with myself. I was young, even yeah. though I was like 17, I still thought I was pretty young because mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I'm stupid, but you know, if a fight broke out, I might yeah. give certain things and get myself in trouble. So I like to avoid, yeah. co you know confront um what the fuck do you call it uh confrontations yeah. and shit because i'm the type of person it's like well come come outside you know yeah meanwhile it's let's like, solve it in okay, real life where's outside, where's and, outside? Like, and then they start giving and it's like no 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 you yeah. ain't knowing where i live type of shit yeah so um instagram is nothing like facebook i mean you post the pictures um people on instagram are way nicer let's be honest they're way nicer than facebook so i finally make a facebook account <laughs> oh. So don't I decide to look up his name? Holy freaking shit! Mind you, this is before wow. I had internet in the house. I used to um, sit outside at the Willen thing because my solo mobile had Willen, and yeah. there is Mister Blank Blank, and I'm like, Yeah, hey. I'm like, oh, okay, you that know, that was enough. To knock you off your feet. Typical <laughs> woman, okay. Just to warn you about us oh. women, we are like freaking detectives, okay. We think our man is cheating. You want to find something? We will <laughs> dig like fifty people down to find what we're looking for. A scorned woman <laughs> oh. is a woman you should not mess with because we should yeah. be detectives when we're like cheesed off. So I started perving yeah. February the 13th, going out Valentine's Day, yeah. making shit he doesn't like to eat, sleepovers, movies, everything he's accused me of. Pancake breakfast. I fucking hate pancakes now <laughs> due to that shit. I mean, I still eat them, but every time I think about pancakes, it's like, oh, <gasps> oh I, remember, <laughs> I remember that one time. Yeah. So I started this big fucking fight on Facebook, okay? I did not know how Facebook worked. So the post that I saw the cheat in, I straight out called her out. Yeah. So doesn't like 20 of her friends come at me, oh, she should take the toaster in the bathtub. Like I said, listen, um, they were very big women. So like I called them a certain name. Um, like I said, I don't think about eating 24-7. When I'm in the bathtub, I like to clean myself, not eat. Meanwhile, I knew exactly <laughs> what they were saying. And then, of course, he yeah. blocked my ass. So I couldn't reply to anything. So I was straight Facebook yeah. and TL. All this shit. My friends are like, oh, damn, AC's on it again. Because he used to yeah. start shit with um, my friends on Twitter. My friends on Twitter, okay, let me tell you this. One time, <laughs> he made three, three uh, catfish accounts within yeah. an hour all three accounts were gone that's how lit fucking uh twitter was back in that day like yeah oh the yeah. stories for days so anyways um he finally started getting physical you know um i wouldn't give him money he'd hold me uh he'd always grab my wrist which if you know me you know i hate that shit unless we're talking about some different scenario i hate when people oh let's go oh well, let's go, you know, Just grab and push it. and pull. I got a new phone. Yeah. There's water. Used to try to kick water. Used to try to this. Try to knock your phone knock into my the phone puddles. Down. Um, I no. still got 
uh, a mark here because I beat his ass with an umbrella because he would not <laughs> let me go. The umbrella. Blood everywhere, you know. Oh. It was to the point. So I started calling the cops because he started threatening. Oh well, if I can't have you, nobody could have you. You know, yeah. I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna this, I'm gonna that. So I finally got the cops involved. Yeah. So the cops said, but are you sure you want to go through this? And yeah. like I said, two years prior, I just want to be single. I want to find myself. I'm not happy. Yeah. I went through a depression, okay? I fell hard on my face. Yeah. All because why? Because of Valentine's Day that I was accused of cheating, he was out cheating. So yeah. I basically lost it. Yeah. You hear them crazy girls on the news? That was me minus I did not cut nobody with anything. No. The worst I did was beat his ass with an umbrella, but he wouldn't let me go. So the cops said I had the right. So, And I made a video about this too because they wanted to make sure I had to pray on the Bible, which not to be mean, I don't really believe in the Bible. I believe in my own people. That's a different day topic because yeah. my mom didn't get me bath ties none of that shit so i'm like my own person i believe in my own shit so with my belief i put that on the bible and then i made this thing which the cop was laughing the whole time i'm trying to read it being serious and this guy's laughing like Pfft. he didn't want you why was he keeping you i'm like because nobody else could have me it was yeah. control so then yeah. they they wanted me to go to a therapist, which, like I said, nah, because I knew I was not the problem. Like, for the longest time, I thought I was the problem. I stayed in the house for two years because I thought I was the problem. If I go outside, oh, there's going to be guys. I'm going to be doing them. Oh, if I do this, this, this. So finally, my mom's friend and her finally convinced me because I wasn't listening to nobody. No. Nobody got in this head you were because I was so... All the time. I was so all messed up, dude. So messed up. It was sad. It was, it was sad, but you think your first love wouldn't fuck you over that bad. You know what I'm saying? But we told you, once he started accusing you, that's exactly what he was doing. I should have kicked his ass to the curb that time. Yes. But, you know, you give chances, you give chances, you yeah. give chances. So, um, I slept for like three days straight. My mom told my dad, oh, we got to watch, we got to watch. Or, we got to be on different schedules I was basically to on the mindset times. of my life is over. I'm yeah. done this shit. I don't want people around mm -hmm. there's this bridge near my house we always used to talk about it and everybody that jumps off the bridge doesn't make it right so i i had these dark voices telling me in my head like oh do it do it do it meanwhile we all know the outcome type of shit yeah. i wouldn't say i'm crazy but i had that mindset back in the day i've changed a whole lot since then i'm like the biggest bitch you'll ever meet now <laughs> yeah but um yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say now. Now I'm like in some fight mode. I'm like, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. So then, um, you know, you got us. Oh, okay, so what happened? So uh, end of the good story. So he got a restraining order. Yeah. He had to go to therapy for two months. Yeah. I got a paper, which I had to sign that says if I want to meet him or not, which like I said, nah, I can't. Yeah. I can't. How the hell do you expect me to face that? He was so bad. He thought he was above the cops and the law and everyone. That's how bad he was. Um, well, still is because he yeah. still tries to come around and he can't. Yeah. Um, I had to change my number due to shit. Yeah. Because I I just need to let my past yeah. go. I need to let it go. You know, yeah. I got a new man. He's trying to beg for waves. He's trying to meet up. It's like, dude, I can't meet up, okay? He basically yeah. fucked my life over. It was uh, physical. It was mental. Mental abuse screws with you more than anything. Don't yeah. let nobody tell you different. Because what you're feeling in here... <laughs> People say, listen to your heart. Nah, listen to your head. Your heart's stupid. Listen to this, because this will tell you. If you start feeling weird vibes, 9 out of 10, those vibes are proper. Then you got neighbors doing the same shit. Oh. Neighbors around here are the biggest freaking clowns ever. Oh my god. Family. A lot of mental abuse in family and shit. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. The moral of the story is, like what you like. Do what you want to do. It doesn't matter what anybody else's damn opinion is. If you're happy in life, if you like it, do it. It's your life. How can anyone else have an opinion, have a choice, or have any thing? Any say, <laughs> period. Like, okay. It's your life. Opinions. Tell me your opinions. Cool. No, but no, they don't just try to tell you their opinions. They try to force you to go then their opinion. Meanwhile, no boo. My opinion's my opinion. Yours is yours. 
Me and you are very similar, but still. But we're very mm, different in a lot of stuff. My opinion about some stuff is way different, but I wouldn't overpower you See, with my opinion. She's my mom. But because all my friends were basically trash, they half of my friends used me just to talk to my mom because their parents sucked. Like, yeah. this whole generation is so fucked up. That yeah. is the honest truth. So, I mean, my mom, even though I resented her for a lot of my, like, teen years, but that's, like, a typical thing. Yeah, pretty much. You know, like, oh, if I want to chill with my friends, you know, oh this that so back in the day i never got that now i understand fully so you know it's like oh mom i'm going shopping you have to come with me and she's like what it's, it's like, like oh, you, you have to oh, come okay where we go and <laughs> so it's like reversed from back in the day yeah and if anybody says oh you chill with your mom i'm like yeah so at least i have a mom dumbass because their mom doesn't care about them type of shit yeah like they try to be rude and it's like hey i don't want to hear your bullshit you know type of thing because she's my yeah. best friend i don't care Mom, I don't have a mom. I have a best friend. I have a sister. I have a confidant. If it wasn't for her and my boy, I would not be alive to this day. And that is a fact. Because I was on that mindset that I was going to do that bridge shit. Like, like it was not a joke. I've been it wasn't with a joke. for so long <laughs> and been through so much of it with you. Both my part, your part, every part. It's not like we're mother and daughter now. You're a full-fledged adult. It is more like a friendship now. Time's and running out here. I've never tried. This is my first video. That's I've never long. tried bossing We're going to do you. a part two of this. I always guided you. There's a difference. Like, I ask people for their, like, what do you think? You know, what would you do? An opinion What do you good, say? But... but when people start telling me, oh, you can't like that. Yeah. Oh, you can't Sorry, do that. My team is so-and-so. So does your team have to be. Because if not, everything you post about your team, I'm going to bad mouth and be stupid about. Mm -hmm. Nobody. My team is my team. Your team is your team. Get over it. And if we can't we like talk about stuff. it, then guess what? Go on your own and don't bother. Don't talk the neighbors about try to do stuff. the same thing. They have oh, like certain flags and shit, and they have certain things. We both yeah. like you like what you like. I like I like what I like. Like who cares? Yeah. Who cares? We're all living that one life, and we're all looking yeah. for one thing: the good life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're looking for. But the motto is: wake up every day, go to sleep every night, and just look for one one thing. Because people are straight trash nowadays. Pretty much. They're all looking just when you're happy to peg you down. Yeah. When you're on your high, they like to peg Nobody's you down. Nobody's allowed to be happy. Everyone has to be mad and frustrated and ticked right off. 2013 and right. was the day I fell. I will never be that way again. I am me. <laughs> there is no other. I. They say, like... Uh, drugs and drinking and other shit. You have to fall to know where you are. Depression and anxiety is the exact same damn thing. You gotta fall to know where you are. If people like you, they shouldn't do that anyways. Pretty much. But um, anything you'd like to say before this ends? Because we're running low on time. We're gonna do a part two of this. People shouldn't be doing that. But like, AC's really. out. Part two coming soon.